Hi, if you're new around here, my name is Jack. In this channel, I usually talk about personal finance and some other adulting matters. But for today's video, I wanted to make a chill lifestyle video talking about the things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, especially now in the new normal. So let's talk about face masks and some other things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, plus the creative equipments that I use to make this video. So let's begin. First, let's talk about face masks. So last year, I was looking for a reusable face mask that makes sense. Something that will do its job, something that will protect you and not just an aesthetic material that will cover your mouth and nose, diba? But at the same time, is breathable and comfortable to use. So I end getting yung mask from Black Mask Project, so I'll just read you a quick description nila from their Shopee page. Black Mask Project are masks that are researched and designed by healthcare professionals. Our goal is to make good quality masks that are practical and offer sufficient protection during this pandemic. They are usable and eco-friendly as well. So I guess that summarizes their product. I actually bought three pieces of mask from them. So ito muna yung una yung version 2 mask nila. So a pair cost 190 pesos. So mga lumalabas 95 pesos per upper mask. Then bumili din ako ng premium version ng mask nila. So ito yon. So this one cost 330. So it's a bit expensive. Pero siguro yung main difference nilang dalawa is this one yung premium version. Has 5 layers of materials into it. While well, itong version 2 nila only has 3 layers of materials into it. Plus itong premium version has adjustable ear loops dun sa, sa ano niya, sa paglagay sa tenga. But even with all those perks sa premium version nila, I like to use this more. Itong non-premium version nila, itong version 2 na mask nila. Simply lang because it's more breathable, it's more uh, comfortable to use than yung sa premium version nila. So, ayun. Plus, I think this is much better itong mask ng Black Mask Project compared dun sa mga typical na surgical mask na ginagamit natin. Plus, it's reusable 20, up to 20 to 30 times. So, washable siya ng ganun kadaming beses. So, yeah, I think that's just much better than the typical surgical mask na ginagamit natin. Plus, you have four sizes to choose from. So, I think that gives you a better fit dun sa mga mask nila. And again, just want to mention lang, uh, I paid those masks in full price. They're not sponsoring this video. So what you hear from me are my honest opinions about their mask. Next on this list is alcohol. For me, this is what I usually carry out. Just a small bottle of alcohol. This is enough for a week. Then I'll just refill this up when it's empty. I usually place this in a leather pouch which is connected to my keychain. Speaking of keychain, uh, this is the keychain that I usually carry around. It holds all the keys to unlock our house. Plus, it holds the key to my bike lock, which will main mode of transport this 2021. This leather keychain actually has a story. So, this one's gifted to me by a subscriber, which gives a sentimental value to this item I received earlier this year. He actually approached me through the comments section, and then I got curious about his work, so I checked his Instagram, got really impressed, gave him a follow, and then after a couple of DMs, he sent me this leather works, including this wallet. Next, it's all about this wallet. It actually has my name on it, which is really cool. I put two credit cards on it, two valid IDs, and some essential cards here. I always carry around a hundred peso bill in case I need to pay something in cash. So yeah, I just want to make a huge shout out to Joseph Angel of Alpha Gens Leather. Again, thanks for this wallet. And sabi niya sa akin, I was already a subscriber even nung 800 subscriber pa lang yung meron ako. So yeah, I just want to say thank you sa'yo, Joseph. And I hope I hope the best for your business. Good luck sa business mo. And I hope you reach more people out there with your leather craft. I would really appreciate to the people who are watching who check out this work. I'll link it down below. I'll link yung Instagram niya. And if you want to show support sa kanya, you could order some leather work sa kanya. But at the very least, I think you could check his Instagram work, give him a follow. I think that's the very least na pa natin ibigay din sa mga local small businesses natin here in our country. Moving on to the tech side, obviously a smartphone. So this one is a Redmi Note 9. I guess this is the most affordable phone at the time that I could get that gets the job done. Nothing fancy about it. Next is this Basius W Series 7 True Wireless Earphone. Again, one of the most affordable True Wireless Earphone out there. There's nothing exceptional about this product. It just gets the job done. Puts music in my ear. I use it mostly to listen to podcasts or music. And whenever I'm having a video call, that's where it's most useful. If there's a major complaint I have about this product, it's the latency. There are a lot of times that when I'm a movie, delay ng millisecond yung audio niya, so that's quite disturbing. Then this digital watch that I bought in Singapore way back in 2017. Tells me the time, the day, and the date because it's so light and very sturdy. 
As you can see, I'm very much about functionality and affordability rather than aesthetic and other superficial features. Lastly, these are discretionary items that I carry when I think that I would use them. Let's start with my creative equipment. This is my point and shoot camera. It's a Canon G7X Mark II. I've had it since 2017. It's very much beat up and it has been all over the Philippines. But still, this is a camera that I use whenever I need to shoot outdoors. Then whenever I'm going to an interesting place, it's the only time I bring my drone and my main camera, which is the Canon M50. For my discretionary health essentials, these are face shield, Lysol sprays, and disinfecting wipes. I just bring a face shield whenever I need to go to a grocery, mall, a bank, or drugstore. The Lysol spray and wipes, I only bring it whenever I need to engage a lot of items. So that's it for me everyday carry video. I hope you find this video interesting. And by the way, I just want to ask you, the viewers of this video, come stay in January nyo? Kasi by the time you're watching this video, it's almost a few days na lang before January ends. And I can clearly remember na before mag-start yung tong year na to, I couldn't wait na mag-start the new year. And now, when you're watching this video, the, the first month of the new year is almost done. Sabi nga nung friend ko who migrated to Canada, kasi nag kami in the middle of this January, sabi niya, time is relative. Kasi before daw, I think, nung nag-aantay siya ng, ng document papers niya, before siya mapag-migrate to Canada, I think that was, uh, it took him one and a half year from 2010 to 2012, and wala siyang ginagawa nun, so para sa kanya at that time, sobrang bagal ng oras niya. And then, now that he's working in Canada, time flies super fast for him now. So, I just wanted to ask, kamusta yung January nyo? How was it? Was it fast or was it slow? Meron bang memorable moments this month para sa inyo? Kasi for me, January was like bike repairs, uh, opening a new stock brokerage account, uh, trading the stock market, watching Attack on Titans, things on TikTok, and ano pa ba? Uh, making videos. Making videos for my friends, making videos for myself para sa YouTube videos ko. So, yun. So far, those are the memorable ones for me. And I guess that wraps up this video. And the month of January, my next upload would be on February na. So yun, before you leave na lang, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you aren't already, and see you in the next video. Bye!